Hi. In the last class, we have discussed about tokens. Till literals, we have discussed. I think it is clear for you. Today, I am going to discuss about a special case of character constant. It is escape sequence. What is a character constant? A character constant is a literal which is a single character is enclosed within single quotes and there we have a special case for example when we press a key on a keyboard for example a you can see a on the monitor when you press on star you can see star on the monitor but when you press enter key what is happening there there you are performing an action when you press on tab key an action is performed so to represent all these symbols all these keys we are using escape sequence and so what is an escape sequence escape sequence means non graphical symbols can be represented using escape sequence it will be having multiple characters that is enclosed within single quotes that is a special case of character constant next we are going to study about fourth type of token that is third type of token that is identifier identifiers are user defined words that are given to a program element an element can be a variable it can be a label or a function name normally this year we are going to study about memory location that is a variable name so variable names are user defined words which are given to a memory location for example if you are using a variable a b x y num1 num2 these all are known as identifiers when we are giving names to an identifier we have to follow certain rules and regulations now let us discuss what all are these rules and regulations to be followed for naming an identifier first one it consists of letters digits and underscore the first character must be a letter or an underscore which means that you cannot start with a digit white space and special characters are not allowed except the underscore symbol keywords cannot be used and the last one is upper case and lower case are treated differently because c++ is a case sensitive programming language so these are the main rules that you have to follow when you are creating an identifier next you have the fourth token that is a punctuators punctuators are symbols which gives a semantic or a syntactic meaning to the compiler when we when we are writing english sentence we normally put a full stop at the end of the sentence to show that this is the end of the statement similarly in c++ we are also using some symbols to indicate or to represent some meanings these symbols are known as punctuators hash semicolon colon quotes single quotes bracket opening closing curly bracket square bracket all these are used as punctuators fifth one is operators operators are the last tokens which triggers some kind of operations in a variable operations are symbols and it is applied on a set of data and this data is known as an operand for example 5 plus 2 plus is the operator 5 and 2 are the operands is that clear for you that's all for today thank you